So uh, before we dive into that, uh, we need to know what is customer identity and access management is about. Customer identity and access management is about providing identity and access management for your customers uh, through a better digital customer experience and improved security. CIA, that's what you call it, defines how you give access to your services for your consumers in a simple and a seamless manner and how you manage, store and analyze the customer's data in a secure manner. In Workforce IAM, the employees will not have a much of choice or control of the user experience of their IAM system. And they cannot switch or refuse to use the company's IAM system just because the user experience does not fit for them. But CIM is all about your customers. They have options when it comes to you. If the user onboarding, login, and the overall experience in using your product is not satisfactory for them, it takes only a millisecond for them to search for a similar product with better user experience and security to switch from you. So the main objective of CIM itself is to drive revenue growth in a business by attracting your customers and retaining them. Forest research on CIM market overview points out that the quality of customer experience directly affects a firm's cumulative total returns. So WSO2 Identity Server is a developer-friendly CIM solution which you can use to provide a better digital experience for your customers. So let's see uh, what is this better use experience, how we can provide it via a CIM solution. In order to provide a simple yet secure digital experience for your customers, these features help. Please keep in mind, you have to always balance the user experience and security. Neither can dominate. Too much each, each of use could lead to loss of security while too much security will lead to restricted consumer experience. Gone are the days where customers would appreciate of providing a second factor authentication every time they log into an application. Even though it is a more secure approach, customers would be fatigued if this happens every time they log into an application. That is where technologies like adaptive authentication helps to provide security while ensuring favorable customer experience. For example, every time you log in to view your bank balance in your banking application, if you have to provide SMS OTP, wouldn't that be cumbersome for you? Since viewing is not a high risk action, having just username and password based authentication would be enough. But if you are doing a fund transaction, that is a more high risk action. Therefore, popping up a second factor like SMS or TP at that specific point of time would be more favorable for the user. And it will also add more security as well. Then uh, wouldn't users be over the moon if they don't have to provide any passwords at all? So with approaches like FIDO2 web button and email magic link authentication, now passwordless authentication is not a wishful thinking, but a reality. In fact, WSO2 Identity Server also supports both of these approaches to make your customers' lives easier. Then the concept of bring your own identity is what we see as the option of login via social media providers like Facebook, Google, etc. Most customers prefer this over creating their own accounts. Since most of the customers are already logged into one of those social media providers most of the time, they will have a seamless experience if your applications also provide that authentication via social identity providers. Then self-care services are also important when it's come to CIA. 
be it self-registration or customers managing their profile by themselves, like password change, security question setup, revoking consents, revoking login sessions. Customers prefer to be in charge of their data and it's our responsibility to facilitate that right for them. Nowadays, it is not a nice to have feature, rather a compliance or CIA, especially when it comes to adhering to government regulations like GDPR and CCPA. Progressive profiling is another key differentiator of CIA. It is an evolving topic. The idea of progressive profiling is to collect customer information or their preferences at right time and ultimately help to develop a holistic user profile of the customer. The data gathered through progressive profiling would help the business to get an idea of customer's preferences and present customers with suggestions unique to each of them. If a CIM system is using progressive profiling, then they can use simple self-registration forms rather than lengthy forms, which ask all the details at one go. This might put off the customers nowadays, and they may even drop you at that very point and move to another competitor. When using progressive profiling, you can ask a minimal set of questions like a username, email address, and just a password and onboard them. Then in later stages of customer's engagement with your application, you can pop up information gathering forms. It is very important to pop up these progressive forms at right time with minimal amount of input. So with this digital age, it is vital to provide omni-channel access to your businesses through various channels like mobile, tablet, uh, desktop, etc even including devices like smart TVs. So take Netflix for an example and see how seamlessly they provide omnichannel access for you to continue watching your shows from different devices like tablet, TV, mobile with single identity. Providing a customer with same identity through multiple channels is how CIM offers omnichannel support. Whether you access your bank information through the mobile app or web app, the state of your customer's identity should be consistent. So let's see, from us to you, so from WSO to Identity Server team to you. So I will talk about latest WSO to Identity Server improvements with you guys now. So apart from the major features of CIM solution we discussed uh, just a few minutes ago, let's see the latest improvements of WSO to IS. So as a part of a better use experience for the consumers, we have introduced an enhanced React-based portal for self-care. Your end users can use this portal to manage their profile, while enjoying the rich user experience it provides combined with latest technologies like React. To make the life of the developers in your organization easy and to reduce the development time spent on configuring WS to IS with the business, we have enhanced our developer portal with the user experience and intuitiveness. This will help to reach your time to market strategies on time. So I have gathered some screen grabs of our self-care portal. So how an end user will envision by like he can manage his profile, uh, change his passwords, uh, set up security questions, multi-factor authentication options, etc. So this is a uh, overview of our developer portal uh, targeted for identity developers in your organization where they can like uh, define the service providers or the applications that you are going to integrate with WSO to identity server. They can select a template that suits for them. If it's a single page application, you can select that template and we provide guidance throughout this journey to like set it up very easily. Or uh, when defining identity providers like social IDPs or external enterprise IDPs, 
for that also we have templates so you can easily integrate them with uh, your business and then uh, we have where all the management functionality are done of managing users groups roles and adding user stores uh, configuring email templates etc so let's see uh, another improvement so what we have done in our earlier days the self registration flow and password recovery flows uh, the user was asked to re-enter password credentials after users verified using their email so now with this latest improvement the user is verified by clicking the verification mail the user gets auto logged in uh, without re-entering the credentials so i have attached a small uh, gif as well so you can see like the user get auto logged in rather than providing username and password again once they have uh, gone through self registration or password recovery uh, scenarios then uh, sdks uh, we have introduced a range of authentication sdks for developers uh, developers can use these sdks in the business applications to seamlessly and easily integrate with wso2 identity server without writing it from scratch and reducing the development effort then we have multi attribute login this feature is to allow users to log in with preferred attributes such as email username mobile etc without restricting the login attribute to the username which is the immutable primary identifier of the user then we have support for oauth 2.0 device flow this is an oauth 2.0 extension specification that enables devices with no browser like iot devices or limited input capability like smart tvs to obtain user authorization to access protected resources then there is passwordless authentication i described a little bit ago as well so we support it through uh, uh, using fido2 uh, which is a phishing proof passwordless authentication protocol which was developed as a joint effort between the fido alliance and the world wide web consortium and we also support passwordless authentication with magic link authentication via email so magic link is a fairly new way of authentication where a user can simply authenticate by clicking on the one time user link sent for the email uh, rather than having to provide the username and password so all the self care services as well as administrative services provided by wso2 identity server is now available as rest apis then a uh, hashicorp vault is uh, popular for storing and securing your secrets and managing them now wso2 identity server supports ability to use hashicorp vault as its secret wall uh, for protecting configuration secrets like database passwords key store passwords etc and adaptive authentication is one of our key features by identity server we mentioned that earlier also so we have now introduced a new improvement to that uh, called risk based authentication with type in dna so type in dna is a behavioral biometrics vendor Uh, and a pioneer in delivering type in biometrics technology as an api for user friendly authentication to businesses uh, ranging cyber security finance education and retail so now with this integration type in dna can be used for risk based authentication along with wso2 identity server now uh, let's see how this simple digital transformation with cim can be achieved so when it comes to digital transformation with cim a business can be in one of the following stages of the cim maturity model non existent stage is where a business will not have any identity or access management solution in place 
for example, small businesses running on Instagram pages or a simple website which publishes the contact details and the address uh, falls into this category. If you take an Instagram page business, you will have to provide your address and contact details every time you purchase something from them. They don't keep a database or record of their consumers. This is mostly the case with small to medium sized businesses, especially in APAC region. The next phase is where medium to large companies would start incorporating IAM systems to their businesses. So most of the businesses today are in this stage. They will provide like registration portal to onboard the customers and a login portal to authenticate them to the website of the business. Then some business would want to integrate social IDPs like Facebook logins, multi-factor authentication, analytic system to that uh, ecosystem. Business in this space still will not have any CRM or customer preference management systems incorporated their platform. It's just simply the identity and access management. Siloed phase is where you see the potential of having a CRM platform, a marketing platform, e-commerce platform, etc. for better customer nurturing and revenue growth. Uh, so you will purchase those systems and now they will run individually, will provide you reports and results individually. Meanwhile, your IAM system you placed in the earlier stage will also be there. They all will be acting as silos without any interconnections. Connected phase is where you connect CRM, marketing, e-commerce, content management system, and many more with your IAM system. And the important point is the IAM system should be able to support these integrations. The end result is now you get a holistic 360 degree view of your customer. This connector system will show you how an anonymous user was converted to a customer and in the long run will help to take informed business decisions for revenue generation. The final phase is more of a futuristic phase where all the futuristic ideas of CIM can be incorporated advanced omnichannel access, CXO real-time dashboards are some of those milestones of a business target in this phase. And only few businesses have reached this state as of now, like Amazon Go. So now uh, I will go to a simple case study of one of our customers. I won't be sharing the name uh, due to uh, reg uh, DA regulations. Uh, so this is a case study of one of our recent customers who is in investment management solution space. They provide investment management solution software to investment advisors and investors themselves, uh, ranging from self-managed uh, investments to third-party managed investment solutions. Uh, let's see what was their original system looked like before using WSO2 IS. They have websites built with uh, React for investment management for different customer types like advisors and investors. When a user logins to the site, they are redirected to a legacy site which does the authentication and provides them with the JWT token. This token is used by the React website to access REST APIs uh, which provide services related to invest management. This legacy service is not using any open standards for authentication and the users are managed in their own database. So now let's see with new customer requirements what they wanted to achieve differently from the existing system. Now with customer demands, they have started developing Android and iOS native mobile apps as well which will have the same services provided from the web applications. And there could be use cases where customers might access the mobile app as well as mobile browser in the same device. And they would need single sign-on at such instances. 
with their old system achieving SSO deemed difficult since they were using an in-house approach to authenticate the users. And also they want to provide the option of username and password based authentication as well as passwordless authentication uh, for customers who has the device support for that. So they selected FIDO2 based passwordless approach but it was a huge effort for them to do it if they were to develop it by themselves. Since they are in financial industry, they found out that now is the right time to provide step up authentications for high risk operations like payments, online transfers, etc. With the existing system, they do not have a dynamic and context aware solution that can cater this kind of adaptive authentication requirements and it will be a lot of research and development effort for them. So when a high risk operation occurs, they want to prompt the user for a SMS, email, TOTP based authentication. Additionally, they wanted features like username and password recovery with email or mobile channels. So they first did a POC by themselves with uh, IDENT server to replace their existing in-house solution. So all those features which they couldn't implement by themselves were easily achievable through WSO2 identity server. That's the benefit of having trusted identity provider to provide identity and access management rather than trying to implement by yourself. The CIM space is going to have many new standards in the future identity vendors like uh, we, WSO2, are always following the buzz and R&D team will focus on such tasks and incorporate them into our product. But it's not something a business organization can invest time and money into. It is far more beneficial for them to offload that task to specialized CIM vendor. And uh, the number of customers this company initially targeting to onboard was around 200,000 with a forecast of 1 million users within five years. So scalability is another main factor in CIA. Unlike Workforce IA, where users are in thousands, CIA will have users in millions. So WSO2 IS helps to handle such large number of users with support for horizontal scaling of the deployment. Uh, so the customer's approach was to first migrate application layer to WSO2 IS and then move the data layer to WSO2 IS as well. Application layer migration means to make the existing applications OIDC or SAML compliant so that they can achieve requirements like SSO with WSO2 IS easily. Then they will handle the data layer, which is the underlying user repository. With WSO2 IS, they used our extension points and wrote a custom user store manager that would incorporate with the existing user database and also use their custom password hashing mechanism to store passwords. So these are some of our flagship WSO2 identity server customers. Uh, from various verticals like finance, government, etc. So uh, this is a recent Forest Wave report where we participated in the latter half of uh, 2020. Uh, that's the first time we participated for this uh, Forest Wave report in CIM space. And we were able to get into the strong performance section first time itself. And you can see that uh, that how far we are from some other vendors. So we have like we are very near to the leaders section and we got maximum scores for consumer authentication, self-service, privacy and consent management and for our commercial model. And then uh, this year we uh, did a total economic impact report with the uh, Forrester uh, Consulting, which is an independent research firm. And they consulted our four identity server customers and came up with the statistics shown in the right hand side. So the total benefits of a business over three years by using WC2 identity server was like 4.51 million. 
and the return of investment over three years was like 332 percent. So this high number of return of investment is due to our scalability of our products. So, so Identity Server can manage like up to millions of users from the very original deployment we suggest to you. So even like between five or three years, when your number of users increase, still you can use the same Identity Server deployment. So you don't have to pay any amount for us and like there won't be any costs from that end as well. And then a faster time to market and 60% reduction in integration development effort. So as I mentioned earlier also, with our SDKs and our API supports and the easy uh, UIs and all that, the development effort of your developers in the company reduces when it comes to IAM space because they don't have to worry much about or like uh, scratch their head how to do that because or everything integrations are like very easily achievable. Uh, now uh, I will talk about uh, some future trends of CIA uh, that we can look forward to in the future. So real life omnichannel experience is something we can see going to be more prominent in the future. The idea behind this is to provide personalized retail experiences in a next level by linking the user's real life identity and digital identity. This will need the ability of integrating the CIM solution with IoT devices like IP cameras, smartphones, etc. So leveraging the near field communication support of these devices, when a user walks in a particular street or area, a user can be prompted offers on his smartphone with regard to shops nearby him that matches preferences. So this is something that will be a trend in the future, especially with all this uh, digitalization and uh, uh, people adapting to this uh, digital space, especially due to COVID-9 and everything. And there is this uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning integration to the CIM platform. This is also now uh, coming, going to be a trend in the future. So nowadays, hackers have mastered to infiltrate every nook and corner of the digital world. So many enterprises are now looking towards AI and machine learning to facilitate better access control. So AI can detect the slightest change of a user behavior and will help to control the access in a more visible manner. In the future, there's going to be a huge number of human and device identities in the world and it becomes important to integrate smart technologies like AI and ML to the security practices in digital landscape. So the CIM uh, world need to be aware and be ready to integrate with these uh, technologies as well. Then uh, providing CXO real-time dashboards on the business performance. The audience of CXO dashboards are the executives of the company who is keen on tracking business growth through a 360 degree view of a dashboard. These dashboards can get data from various sources connected to the CIM platform. And some of the KPIs those dashboards could be displaying, like could be a growth of customers or leads over time, or the customers by geography, their conversion rate, the rate at which prospects are converted to registered customers, uh, the conversion rate of existing customers to online customers, then customers or leads uh, access pattern by the channel like mobile or web. So these KPIs will help the CXOs to take informed business decisions. And then uh, like, uh, so the CIM world should now pay attention to like uh, having this kind of CXO dashboard level support uh, in the future. And then another trend that is kind of happening these days that we see in major uh, CIM providers as well, the customer organization management. So this is more of a B2B scenario where yeah, your business will have uh, customers as other businesses as customers. So in that case, that business will have set of users related to them. Uh, maybe employees, uh, if it's a, a 
hospitals, maybe doctors and nurses. So there should be a way to manage these uh, users in each organization. Then there are concepts like organizational hierarchy, the access delegation between the organization, then collaboration between organizations. There are a lot of concepts around that as well. So this is also going to be another trend uh, in CI and space in the future. 